speaker. And our first speaker for today is Melissa. Melissa is speaking from the Confident Communication Manual, speech number eight, Get Comfortable with Visual Aids. Melissa's objectives are to select visual aids that are appropriate for your message and the audience. Use visual aids correctly with ease and confidence. Melissa's time is five to seven minutes. Tomorrow, Melissa will be presenting to a group of all state agents in Mount Vernon. She will be reviewing a report with them, helping them to understand how to use the reporting website and how to interpret the report results. Today, she will be using us as all state agent guinea pigs as she explains part of her presentations. Melissa's title is What's Your All? Ali. Sorry. <laughs> Please help me welcome Melissa. about that little typo. So I know that some of us are fortunate enough to be retired or out of the workforce. I am not among that group. Do we have people in here that are still in the workforce working for yourself or for another person? Okay, handful. So would you say that the level of satisfaction of your customers affects you and or your performance in some way? Okay, I hope yes, because um, really the customers are why we're in business. It's why any of us have a job. And at Allstate, this is going to sound really cheesy, but at Allstate, our customers are our number one priority. It's not a sales pitch. It's the right way to do business. From a business standpoint, it's the right way to look at your customers. If you don't have any customers, you don't have anyone needing a job. So at Allstate, we take it very seriously, um, the level at which our customers are loyal to us. And in the fall, we spend millions of dollars nationwide to send out a survey. Do we have any Allstate customers here? Beautiful. The rest of you, I'll be talking with later. Oh, Allstate, okay, good. So I don't know if either of you received a survey last fall. Uh, there were 11 questions on the survey. And the responses to the questions go into this report, the ALI report. So given that you're all pretending to be agents, which will be my audience tomorrow, does everyone know what ALI stands for? Yes. Agency Loyalty Index. So the responses derived from this 11-question uh, survey comprises a score. Every agency is going to have a score. Every agency is then compared to each other, and we can then determine where service issues might exist. So. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the survey and how the score is calculated. So, like I mentioned, there are 11 questions on the survey total. However, the ALI score is derived from the answers to only three of those 11 questions. The questions that we derive the score from are, how likely are you to renew your current policy? How likely are you to recommend your Allstate agent? And overall, how satisfied are you with your Allstate agent? There's five possible responses to each of these questions. There's two that would be classified as negative responses. These would be, I'm not at all likely, or I'm not very likely to renew my policy. Um, there would be a yellow response in the middle, which would be, I'm somewhat likely. And then there's two, what would be considered positive responses. To these questions. So overall, how satisfied with your Allstate agent are you? This would be completely satisfied, very satisfied, somewhat satisfied, not very satisfied, and unsatisfied. So determining where they uh, fell with the responses to these three questions on this sort of spectrum determined how loyal of a customer this person was. They were either a loyal customer or an at-risk customer. This is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to go further. So I'm going to use our Allstate customers as my guinea pigs. I think I've used that phrase a few too many times. So answer for me, picking a response card, yellow being the neutral response, red meaning a negative response, or green being a positive response. 
How likely are you to renew your all-state policy? You're very likely. Am I supposed to say maybe? You can do whatever you want. Okay. So we have agreed. On the question that talks about referring your all-state agent, how likely are you to review, re, refer your all-state agent? Green. Green. So then the last one, overall satisfaction. Overall, how satisfied are you with your all-state agent? You can be up very honest. Yeah, I agree. Green. OK, that's excellent. So this, with all green responses, is going to be a loyal customer. Okay? So say we have the exact same responses for all except refer. Overall, the, the customer was very satisfied. They were going to renew their policy. They weren't going to refer. They were just neutral. They were somewhat likely to refer. This would be considered an other. Okay? Exact same scenario, but throw a red in, and that becomes an at-risk customer. So if the responses to these questions um, had a negative or a neutral at all, it was considered other or just thrown out entirely. It had to be entirely red. had to be entirely negative responses to be considered at risk or entirely green to be considered loyal. Okay? If there was a neutral in at all, it was considered an other response. So all green, loyal, all red, negative, at risk. From there, we take the percentage of loyal customers, subtracting the percentage of at risk customers, gives us the overall loyalty score. So any neutral responses were considered other and weren't calculated within the score. So at all state, we take customer loyalty very seriously, as should every com company in this economic time. We need to keep the customer at the center of all that we do, and at all state, we're trying to listen to the customers to make sure that we do that. 